It's no longer business as usual in Taraba State since intelligence reports revealed plots by ISWAP to establish camps within the state, followed by the alarm raised by the governor over the increasing rate of insecurity. Perhaps this informed his latest decision to convene a meeting to rub minds with traditional rulers, local government chairmen, members of the judiciary, legislature and other stakeholders to take stock of the outgoing year in terms of security of lives and property. Traditional rulers at the occasion promised strong cooperation with security agencies to end the growing insecurity in the state. But one of the traditional rulers believes the failure of government policies in the area of security is responsible for the challenges in Taraba State and the rest of the country. The bulk of the problem of criminals we have, of course, if you people want to be honest, is self-manufactured. It's the failure of our policies that they create the criminals. And the highest among them is unemployment or lack of skill for employment, lack of purpose, over expectation of the youth, failure to accept the reality of life, that is people refusing to carry out jobs that they could do honorably, rather they want to become thieves. So our job as fathers is to discourage all from trying anything that is going to be harmful to them and harmful to the society. There's an update from different arms of government on proactive measures being taken to keep communities safe with spaces that seem unoccupied now secured to ensure that they are not being used by criminals. We are doing our best in our various councils to see that Taraba is peaceful and is peaceful indeed. Your Excellency, we are also working with the traditional rulers in our domains to ensure that we don't allow the ungoverned spaces to be occupied by some elements to disturb the peace of this state. And a warning from the State Commissioner of Police to criminals. Let me state, even on behalf of other heads of security agencies present here, that we will not disappoint you. And we also use this opportunity to announce again that saboteurs, criminal elements, it is time to take your leave. Governor Darius Ishaku on his part says efforts are also in top gear for the state's community policing outfit to be launched. We will soon commission our security outfit in Jalingo called the Mashas. We've already built the office. We are clearing the parade ground and cleaning it. When we are done, we will commission so that there will also be a backup to help in the security. I want to plead with you, do not allow strangers to settle on the land. Reduce the burden on me and the security by checkmating these people. You report them early, we will catch them early, we will deploy them and send them away early. He appeals to everyone here to keep their word and not allow criminals reside in their domains, let alone cause harm to residents.